While Europeans settled for coarse woolen and linen garments, Muslims wore brocaded fabrics of organdy, damask and taffeta, words that came into the English language from Arabic and Persian. The fabrics that were produced in the Islamic world were among the finest ever produced. And they were made of not only plain linen or cotton, but also very, very fancy silks, um, cloth of gold where silk thread is wrapped with gold um, and um, with very, very complicated patterns. These complex patterns were coveted by wealthy Europeans and the church as well. When the Christians needed a cloth worthy of wrapping the bones of their saints, the choice was obvious. They looked to a Muslim loom. But sometimes the fabrics were trimmed with decorative Arabic text from the Holy Quran. And so the words of the Prophet sometimes appeared in shocking proximity to Christendom's holiest icons. It is not unusual to find in uh, Italian Renaissance paintings, for example, to find uh, paintings of the Virgin wearing a robe of very fancy patterned cloth and precious silks embroidered with gold um, or woven with gold designs. Sometimes uh, they would say things with an Arabic inscription on it, which says there is no God but God, Muhammad is his prophet, in Arabic. After the Crusades, uh, many Europeans were far more open to the ideas of what was going on to the East, what, what was happening in other parts of the world. They, they simply couldn't be as insular as before. Lots of people were open to, well, what's out there? Let's explore this. Let's see this. Um, new intellectual thoughts. Let's see what these people are writing. Let's learn languages. This is when people start to learn Arabic slowly in the West. As the barrier of language dissolved, ideas born in the great Muslim cities began to filter into Europe. Ideas that would forever change Western thought. The great Italian theologian Thomas Aquinas used the writings of the Muslim philosopher Averroes to justify the clear separation of faith and reason, a Muslim ideal that formed the basis of all scientific inquiry and led to the European Renaissance. Averroes himself appears in Raphael's classic Renaissance painting of great Western thinkers. Here, alongside Plato and Aristotle, stands a vivid reminder of the debt the world owes Islam.